All right, this is our second AP Chem podcast, and today we're going to be covering how to balance redox reactions. These are very long and obnoxious problems, so we're going to master them right now. First thing you have to do is break up the equation into its two half reactions, and you figure out what those are by similar elements. So the first one we're going to do is... Br minus yields Br2. Now the first thing you have to do is balance all elements that are not hydrogen or oxygen, which is obviously bromine. So you have two over here and one over here. So what you're going to have to do is put a two there. And now, since this is minus and you have two of them, the charge over here is now negative two and over here is zero and you counteract charge by adding electrons. So it's negative two over here, so you have plus two electrons on the right side now. This one's finished. Now we go on to the next one. MnO4 minus yields Mn plus two. Now, the first thing you want to balance is manganese, and there's only one on each side, so we're set there. Now the next thing you want to balance is all the oxygens, and you do that by adding H2Os. So there's four over here, so we're going to add four H2Os over on our right side. Now you have to counteract your H's, because we have eight H's over here and zero over here. So we just add eight H pluses. And now we have a difference of charge, because we have plus 8 here, plus 1, negative 1 here, and plus 2 here. So this net charge is negative 7, and this net charge is plus 2. We're going to have to add 5 electrons over here. This is plus 7, there we go. 5 electrons over here is going to make this plus 2 yields plus 2. So we go ahead and write 5 electrons. Now we have our two half reactions. And what we have to do is make sure that the amount of electrons in this half reaction equals the, the amount of electrons in this half reaction. And how we're going to do that is just simply find the lowest common multiple, which 5 and 2, it's going to be 10. So we multiply this whole top reaction by 5, and this whole bottom reaction by 2. And that's going to give us 10Br yields 5Br2 plus 10 electrons. And over here we're going to have 10 electrons plus 16H plus plus 2MnO4 yields 2Mn plus 2 plus 8H2O. You can see why this these problems take forever because we just have so much stuff now. But now what we're going to do is just add these two parts together. So as you can see the 10 electrons cancel out so we can stop worrying about those. And if there were waters in this top reaction, they would cancel out with this, but since there's not, we're just going to leave all the water in there. So now we just go ahead and rewrite everything as 10Br minus plus 16H plus plus 2MnO4 minus yields 5Br2 plus 2Mn plus 2 plus 8H2O, and this is our final answer. You can see, when you just add, when you just balance normal chemical equations, you just add in coefficients, but when it's a reduction uh, reaction, you have to go through this entire thing, and this is what you get. So as you can see, they're kind of a pain in the butt. So this is basically, this is for acidic conditions only, and this is one of the harder ones, so if you can master how to do this one, you could pretty much master all the rest.